domestic consumption uh, would that interest you that has always interested us mm. but i think that uh, you have to now rather than taking a sector call mm. on domestic consumption you now have to take a very company specific call mm. because i think that consumption was the strongest part of our economy mm. uh, you know over the last 3 4 years and the strongest part slows down the last mm. uh, so i think that that is what is happening which means that the consumer end of the economy is slowing down mm. because the after effects of increasing interest rates is now Being kind paid. of seeping in mm. uh, also the fact that inflation was high so you know uh, people have got hurt there sure. so fmcg sales are slowing um you know you saw uh, the asian paints results come out that you know that so i think but there are pockets mm. of opportunities within the consumer space such as um for example bata mm. you know uh, which has products across the price point mm. where they are still gaining because they are still rolling out mm. uh you know new stores sure. uh, most of the fmcg companies have reached a level of um penetration already because right. they've already gone rural mm. right uh and now there is a little bit of uh you know slow down in the rural areas as well sure but there are companies which are still growing their net mm. their networks i mean you know there's still companies like bata still opening 80 to 100 stores a year mm. um so there is growth which mm. is happening in certain segments of the consumer uh markets right um you know so so there it, it it's again it's it's a great industry because uh generally companies in this industry uh have very good quality balance sheets right uh it's a, it's a long term theme right now uh, you know it may not be so much in favor because in some cases the valuations have reached higher also i think people were uh, overweight in these kind of sectors so right. you know a little bit i think they will get into a consolidation stroke correction mode for a while mm. but these sectors will come back very strongly sure. uh you know 6 to 12 months down the line one final question and this is with respect to the sensex you know we've seen the kind of exuberance in the last couple of days sensex trading at about 13 and a half times for uh, for, uh, for fy15 forward earnings from a pure valuation standpoint and if you just take the election event aside for a moment yeah what kind of targets do you have in mind you know i mean it's it's difficult to put a target but my sense is that if you look at history uh you had a pretty flattish 2013 mm. and typically when earnings it's more than the gdp what is important for markets is earnings mm. and i think that earnings seem to have bottomed out mm. you know um and once earnings start to improve mm. and we get back to the double digit kind of uh you know fifth maybe mid teens kind of growth in earnings mm. the year in which earnings turn around mm. the markets preempt and you would typically see very strong market returns mm. so it is pretty much possible that this could be a year if we have you know if everything else uh, is good but if we see earnings pick up uh, reasonably well uh, you could see a strong double digit returns from the markets in this year so my sense is that we've been trading in a broad range over the last 4 5 years sure i'm reasonably confident that this year could be the year where we could break out into a new high mm. uh, there is a high probability of that happening mm. now whether it happens pre elections or post mm. is just a question of timing but that it will happen in this year mm. is without any doubt according to